Hi, it's Dr. Selina Soufraz here, the Dental Sage. I promised I'd do a piece on Easter eggs and sugar, so here it is. I've done some research. I went into supermarkets such as Sainsbury's, Waitrose, Morrison's, Asda, Tesco's. I also went into Selfridges. I went into the food hall at John Lewis and Oxford Street. And I went to some independent stores and looked at Hotel Chocolat and some other high-end chocolatiers. What I did find is it's quite labour intensive to walk around and look at all the sugar. However, um, I've been using a great app and website in the surgery to help me look for low sugar alternative products for my patients. And I used the web-based part of the app called Food Maestro. And Food Maestro managed to let me do a search for Easter eggs and then rank them in order of sugar. So we had anything from as little sugar as seven teaspoons of sugar up to 15 teaspoons. Yes, 15 teaspoons of sugar per 100 grams. So Food Maestro was really, really helpful. And in the future, I'll be using that to look at sugar content rather than walking around the high street. The highest sugar content was in a cream egg. That was 66.5 grams of sugar per 100 grams. But for the larger, more sort of gifty type eggs, let's say, the highest sugar I found was in the Kinnerton brand of eggs. These are really aimed and marketed at children. There was a Frozen one, there was a Star Wars one, there was a Marvel one, and they had 59.7 grams of sugar per 100 grams. 15 teaspoons per 100 grams, that is a lot of sugar. On the other end of the scale, the lowest sugar, the winner was Holland and Barrett for their good egg which had 2.3 grams of sugar per 100 grams. It is sweetened with xylitol, so if you have too much xylitol, artificial sweetener, it can have a laxative effect, which we don't want, so bear that in mind. And then for the lower end of the sort of normal supermarket range of eggs, I found that the Green and Black's dark chocolate range, this is one of them, but there was, there was another one which had peppermint oil and another one which was just general dark chocolate and a tasting one. And they all had 28.5 grams of sugar or 27 grams of sugar per 100 grams, which is about seven teaspoons of sugar per 100 grams. Hotel Chocolat also do a chocolate egg called the Rabot egg. It's a dark egg and one half is 78% cocoa, which is 20 grams of sugar per 100 grams. The other half is 72% cocoa, and this is 29 grams of sugar per 100 grams. So this is also an alternative. I'm not so sure whether the children would really like this, but I think one for the adults, definitely. Goes. We did some taste testing with some children and my family, and we found that, unfortunately, this was a loser, and uh, this was a winner. So there you have it. You can't get away from sugar in chocolate Easter eggs. Chocolate needs sugar to give it the consistency and the taste and the texture that it needs to be enjoyable. And we love chocolate, so bring it on for Easter. Have your chocolate Easter eggs, just make sure you eat them at the end of the meal. The main thing to avoid tooth decay is to reduce the frequency of exposure of sugar to your teeth. So that means if you have 10 eggs, eat them all at once. Try not to spread them out throughout the day and eat them at the end of a meal when you've just exposed your teeth. And this is Selena Soufraz, Dental Sage, saying Happy Easter. I hope you enjoyed this little piece on chocolate eggs and sugar. And if you want to find me and follow me, you can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Facebook, and you can find me on www.selenasoufrazdentist.com or you can email me at selena at selenasoufrazdentist.com and you can find me in the flesh Mondays and Fridays. I'll be at Mortarboy's Dental Spa in Surrey and in central London at London Smiling in Gouge Street. Happy Easter and I'll see you again soon when my next vlogs will be on tooth whitening, sensitivity and microbeads. One of those I'm going to attempt to do next. So let's see how it goes. Have a great Easter. Take care. Bye.